Hey guys, if you are unfamiliar with my weight loss, I have placed a card here for you to click on to be able to go back to my weight loss playlist and check some of those videos out. Hey guys, it's your girl, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, and I'm here today to talk to you about weight loss and how it happened. So I wanted to put together how I lost the weight so fast. Even though 10 months for me didn't seem like it was that fast, nine years ago to lose this weight and to keep it off has been amazing. To know to date how many pounds I've kept off, it's about 108, but I do fluctuate between 108 and 103, depending on what type of exercise I'm doing. If I'm running a lot, sometimes my face tends to slim down and I don't tend to like that. I like my face a little bit fuller. 108 is really what I'm working out doing insanity other kinds of stuff that's extreme fitness levels. These are realistic because I've lived them for nine years and I can guarantee you if you stick to whatever works for you, it's going to eventually work. So my number one thing is to fill up on vegetables. I love spinach, I love zucchini, zucchini squash, black beans, and sweet potatoes, carrots. I love to roast my vegetables, season them down. You can eat like two plates full and you still only had like three to 400 calories. Adding to your nutritional value, it helps your skin, your nails, it helps your hair everything. Just try mixing it in with a smoothie. Want to overeat? Overeat some vegetables. The next one is really simple. Just stay busy. When I sit around and I'm bored and I'm watching TV and I'm doing nothing, food comes to mind. If I'm busy, I don't have time to acknowledge all the cravings. To keep your butt moving, I can guarantee you, you're gonna see the benefits of weight loss. Try to take measurements instead of taking your weight all the time. When I was really losing weight during that 10 to 12 months, I didn't really weigh myself at every two to three weeks because that scale can be hella evil. And you go sit on that scale and it'll be two pounds higher than it was the other day. You don't weigh yourself every day. We gain water weight, we take in salt differently. Hear people say things like, these pants are loose now and I can't believe I haven't lost any weight. When we walk around, we ain't walking around with no t-shirt that say I weigh 130. It's more about how you're looking. It's more about how you're feeling. Take measurements, try on clothes you couldn't once fit, and do that instead of stepping on the scale all the time. I recommend stepping on the scale only two times per month. The next one is to take photos and do comparison shots so that you stay motivated. You don't often see what's really there. Take photos of yourself in the same poses, in the same places, with the same clothes on so that you're able to stay motivated throughout that journey. Of course, yes, my clothes fit differently. They fit better. My body was more shapely, but I didn't see the differences until I put a side-by-side -side photo together. Number five, Five is to get rid of the foods you don't need in the house ASAP. You can go in that kitchen right now and find about five items that ain't got no business in there. A lot of times you gotta just destroy stuff too when you throw it away because some of us are funny enough, I won't say trifling, to go into the trash can later on. Oh, I'm the only one that's been throwing away trash in here. It's all right to eat these Oreos. No, just don't bring it into the house. If you want ice cream, go out, have it, throw it away where you are, and it's not in your home vicinity. You talk about having children, you talk about other people in your house. I don't have kids. I babysat enough kids, kept enough kids to know this much. They're gonna eat what you teach them to eat. Finding things that taste good, that don't have to be like tree bark, then they're gonna enjoy it too. The next one is to keep food around that are safe to snack on at all times. If you don't have things around that you can easily reach for that not only satisfy your hunger but your sweet tooth, your salt tooth, you're gonna be more tempted to go out and do things that you ain't got no business doing. Here are some suggestions for foods that you might want to try out to keep around the house. I like snacks with a lot of fiber. Sweet potato fries, cottage cheese and fruit, edamame and hummus, quinoa, oatmeal with fruit, bananas and berries, kale chips, pears, plums, triscuits, cereal, and yogurt, or oat bran and popcorn. I also like snacks with a lot of protein. A lot of those include edamame, flax, tuna, turkey jerky, hummus, nut bars, chickpeas, cottage cheese, apples and peanut butter, almond butter, boiled egg whites, black beans, oatmeal with nuts and fruit. I used to keep Cheerios on top of my refrigerator because in the middle of the night, I used to wake up and want something to eat and I would literally sleepwalk to the Cheerios box, put a bunch of it in my mouth, and then go back to bed. Number seven is to reward yourself with stuff instead of food. Cheat days are wonderful. Instead of having food involved, try something else. You know, if I lose two or three pounds, I'm gonna go get them new glasses I've been looking at, you know. 
I'll go get myself some shoes I've been eyeing. So get yourself a new outfit. Dress up. Do something nice for yourself. Another thing is y'all need to stop skipping these meals. Because you slow down your metabolism. Your body's going to hold on to stored fat that it does not need but doesn't want to let go of. And you lower your insulin levels. You're starting off with at least a 300 calorie breakfast. I would have boiled egg white, oatmeal, and maybe some turkey sausage. Be protein and fiber filled. And it would keep me full until lunch. Starving don't work. Now it's time for Beautiful Brown Baby Doll News. I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But you really ain't that fat anyway. Bruh, would you want you or your girl to be my size? <laughs> Girl, I think I'm gonna head out for a quick run. Child, you're getting on my nerves with all this working out. You need to have a seat and stop trying to lose so much weight. So how you been feeling since you have been losing weight? Thank you so much for asking. I've been feeling pretty good. I really don't even want to hear about it. Why you always gotta talk about it? Look, sir, I didn't even bring it up. You the one that brought it up. I really miss the days when you were fat. I just feel like you were such a cooler person then. Girl, you know me and love women with a little bit more meat on their bones. But that's none of my business. Girl, I can tell you gaining some of that weight back in them toes and fingers. <laughs> <laughs> The next thing is to replace your downtime with short spurts of exercise. Take that free time and invest it in yourself. Instead of sitting around doing nothing, maybe get in another 10 to 15 minutes of exercise. The next one is to start small on exercise. People go to the gym and they get overwhelmed. You try to do 50 minutes of exercise, then by the time you go home, you can't even move. Guess who's not going to the gym tomorrow? The first day, I just actually walked into the gym. Next day, I went back and I did five to ten minutes on the treadmill. A lot of people might say, well, that's nothing. It's five to ten minutes more than you did yesterday. You do have to have a cheat day. You want to make sure that you take care of rewarding yourself every now and again. Don't go overboard. But on the weekends, in order to reward myself, I would take my behind the King's Buffet. What up, Stilly, Oklahoma? I will get one of those styrofoam containers and load up on things I wanted to eat. I was still careful. It helped me learn how to make food choices. So it was something to look forward to. It was something that I knew at the end of this week, I'm going to get to eat what I want. And I would eat off that box for two days. And anything left in that box after those two days went in the garbage. I still work out on those cheat days. Number 12 is to eat dinner at the dinner table and not necessarily watch TV. You're gonna focus on the people around you. I know if I sit down on the couch and I eat down and my food is gone in like five minutes. It's better to sit at a table and socialize if you can. When I don't have someone here, I can Skype with them. I can say, hey, let's have Skype dinner. The next thing is to drink lots of water and also green and black tea. A lot of people will say double your weight. I like about 70 ounces and that's more than double my weight and what I try to do is I wake up in the morning and I drink it with my exercise which makes it easy because I'm thirsty anyway so I'm not waiting to drink the water I drink as much water as I can during that day not only will it affect the flushing of your body but it's also going to help your skin it's going to help your hair it's going to help your eyes and plus who wants to look down in the toilet and see orange pee? Try to work your way into drinking water even if you don't like the way it tastes I'm sure you don't like the way your pee looks either the next one is to be kind to yourself. We're mean to ourselves and other people. So many people in this world are going to be mean to you during your weight loss. You don't need to be mean as well. Find ways to say nice things to yourself and about yourself. Realize that this is a lifestyle change and it's not just for one event, it's not just for a time, it's for your whole life. And I don't know anyone who hasn't made one mistake in their whole life but Jesus. A lot of people found ways to say mean things to me. Whether they like my size or they don't. Whether they think I'm too small or not. Whether they think I gained a little weight or not. I have to be kind to myself and know what's true about Nina. I cannot depend on other people to validate me and my weight loss and make me feel better about where I am. Care more about what you think and be kind to yourself because enough people in this world are going to be me. I wish you nothing but blessings and good health. Every Thursday will be my health related video so I hope that you all will come back for more. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.